Are you ready to plan a party? In planning a party, we need food, pop, and a venue. In this lesson, you will learn to define and interpret linear relationships by analyzing tables. A linear relationship is defined by two things, the initial value and its rate of change. The initial value is the starting point when the input is zero. The rate of change is the change in output divided by the change in input. We don't need a graph to find the initial value and the rate of change. Look at this table of how much soda costs. Can you find the initial value and the rate of change? Remember, the initial value is when the input is zero. The input is the number of sodas, so when that is zero, it costs zero dollars. Let's find the rate of change. Rate of change is calculated by the change in output divided by the change in input. I'll use a triangle to represent change in. This is pretty common in math. When the input decreases 1, the output decreases 3. Notice how I included the negatives. This is critical because the negatives help us decide what direction the rate of change is heading. So when the input decreases 1, the output decreases 3. Linear relationships follow a pattern, or a constant rate of change. So the output decreases 3, minus 3, when the input decreases 1, minus 1. Negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3. So the rate of change is $3 per pop. If the negatives ca cause confusion, go the other direction. When the input increases 1, the output increases 3. This pattern continues, and the rate of change is 3 over 1. Remember, as long as the, the input and output both increase or both decrease, the rate of change is still positive. Positive $3 per pop. Let's make sure we get some food for the party. What is the initial value for pizza? Sometimes people assume the initial value is zero, but when zero pizzas are bought, it still costs $5. Huh? How can zero pizzas cost $5? Think of it this way. Why is there $5 extra to every number of pizzas you order? Oh, it costs $5 for delivery. What would the rate of change mean in this situation? It means the cost per pizza, so how much do pizzas cost? You can see that a pattern goes up by 20. A common misunderstanding is the pattern of the output is the rate of change. But remember that the rate of change is how the output changes in relation to the input. We need a ratio. You can calculate it by determining the change in output divided by the change in input. The cost goes up $20 for every two pizzas. This means that the cost is $10 for each pizza. The rate of change is $10 per pizza. The final major cost for the party is rent renting the dance hall. This also forms a linear relationship. Sometimes though, the initial value and the rate of change are not easy to identify. Although this table does not tell us what the cost is for zero people, we can figure it out by working backwards. Notice how there's a pattern for people and for cost. The pattern goes by 5 for people and by 25 for cost. Can you determine and interpret the initial value? How much would it cost for zero people? Going up the table, when the number of people decreases by 5, the cost decreases by 25. Down 5, down 25, down 5, down 25. Zero people costs $250. The initial value is $250, but what does that mean? You can infer that the dance hall charges a base rate of $250 plus a certain amount per person. How much do they charge per person? Well, that is the rate of change. Whether we count up or down, since the input and output are both positive or both negative, our rate of change is going to end up positive. Remember, change in output divided by the change in input. So negative 25 over negative 5 people is $25 for 5 people, or say our rate of change is $5 per person. Remember, we need places for everybody to park for this party. Initially, there are 20 parking spaces available. But the more people that came, the less parking will be available. 
Notice how the input, number of people, increases and the output, the parking spaces available, decreases. They go in opposite directions, so this is a negative rate of change. The rate of change is negative five spaces every 10 people. In this lesson, you have learned to define and interpret linear relationships by analyzing tables.